Hello everyone and welcome to my book corner. Uh, I wanted to start this video because I do love reading and I also wanted to kind of push myself to read more so that every month I have a few new books to talk to you guys about. This month I was able to get through three books. I was pretty proud of myself. I'm currently reading my fourth so I'm not including that one because I haven't finished it yet so it might be in next month. Uh, the three books I read this month were kind of, they all had a bit of a similar theme, I guess, which was kind of on mental health. Um, I got into these after reading um, All the Bright Places, and so I'm going to get straight into it. So to talk about these books, I'm going to go from my least favourite of the month to my most favourite of the month. Now my least favourite was the book that I read in the middle, it was The Lemon Grove by Helen Walsh. Now saying it's my least favourite isn't to say that I didn't enjoy the book. I enjoyed it but I found it a little bit hard to connect with I guess. The main protagonist, she's in her, I would say mid 30s to late 30s, around her 30s and it was a little bit difficult to sort of connect with as a young 20s I guess. Um, so the book is based in a really beautiful holiday coastal area in Dea. Uh, it, it sounds beautiful whenever she talked about the beach or the waves or anything like that I so wanted to go visit there and it just seemed really quaint and she goes to a couple of markets in it which I feel like I would really love. Um, my only problem with this book was probably the age and I couldn't really connect. It's a bit of a love affair type thing with a younger man and I couldn't quite connect with that. But it is still a good read and it was a quick read. I think I read this in about two days because it is quite short. Um, so give it a go, if even just for the beautiful coastal um, descriptions and stuff like that. This was the third book that I read this month and my second favourite. It is Made You Up by Francesca Zappia. Um, I believe this is one, this is her first book uh, ever. She's quite young if I remember correctly and she sort of started writing this book in high school and her friends were carrying around like little uh, manuscripts to continue reading it and she kept improving it and she finally got it made into a book. Um, first I want to talk about this gorgeous watercolour cover. Um, it's beautiful. Uh, I did take it off to read it because I didn't want to get the cover destroyed and it's just a plain royal blue cover which I had no problem carrying around. Um, I don't normally go for hard covers but this is a fairly new book and it was only in hardcover so and I, I just wanted to read it anyway. Made You Up ended up being better than I thought it was going to be. When I started it out it was a little tough to get into, I'm not gonna lie, it's about a girl uh, who has schizophrenia but she's the protagonist of it and so it's a very unreliable narrator, you're not too sure what's real, what isn't, like she's trying to decide for herself what she thinks is real um, and you end up getting a pretty big twist towards the end of the book and I was reading it at such a terrible time. I got to the twist and then I had to go work for eight hours and the whole time I was working I was like, no, how can that be possible? Uh, like I was trying to run through this book and I just wanted to pick it back up and continue reading it. So if you do decide to read Made You Up, please make sure that when you're nearing the end you just, like, you're probably going to want to power through it so leave some time. Um, the main uh, male in her life, uh, I kept imagining him as Ansel Elgar. I'm not too sure why because the character doesn't really look anything like him but I just feel like in a film he would probably portray the character really perfectly. Um, he's a bit of a moody guy who can't really understand emotions and they end up like a really perfect match. They kind of hate each other but love each other. It's really great and they sort of bring out the best in each other. Um, 
yeah, as I said, it ended up being a lot better than I thought it was. So if you're going to pick it up, give it a chance, give it a few chapters before you really start to get into it and really hold off for that twist at the end because I did not see it coming. I saw a twist earlier coming and you'll know which one I mean when you read it. I don't want to give anything away because I hate that. I, I just want you to read the book and let me know if you love it. So my ultimate favourite book of the month was the first book I read in March and I, it like took my breath away. I think I read it in uh, about two or three days. I read it while I was in Queensland so I was quite busy during the days but I read probably the second half of the book in one day because I just could not put it down. It ended up being so amazing. So. This is um, a diff slightly different cover than what you might normally see. This is probably the cover that's the most recognisable. So it's I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. She also has another book, um, The Sky is Everywhere, which I am going to be making an order for because I ended up really loving this. The reviews for it were a little bit mixed. They kind of didn't really like all her metaphors and everything but I loved it and if you love a book you love a book like that's just how it's gonna be so don't always follow reviews I guess um, so I'll give you the sun is about two twins Noah and Jude at separate stages of their life so Noah is talking from the age of 13 and Jude is talking from the age of 16 and in between these two times Something's happened to the twins that has completely altered their relationship with each other, with the world, with their personalities, like themselves, everything. And it was so, it was a little bit distracting at first to sort of read from both because I just wanted to keep going with one storyline and then it would switch to the other storyline and you would want to really get into that one. And it was a little bit tough, but it does make it really interesting to read all the time. Yeah, um, so it was good to read in between these two guys and um, again as you get towards the end you sort of just want to keep going and going and going just like you did with um, Made You Up and it had a really good payoff, I'm not going to lie, that's probably why it made the top of the list for this month. The Resolution at the end of the book I was so satisfied with. Um, I've had the problem with um, the Lemon Grove was the resolution at the end of the book wasn't really a resolution. It was kind of like it resolved itself and then it decided to have a couple of extra pages towards the end that opened it all back up again and so you never felt closure from the book. This one I felt perfect closure with. The title of the book, I'll Give You the Sun, I wasn't too sure about it at first, I wasn't sure why it was called that and then um, I thought it was really beautiful, the twins when they were younger, they separate the world into all these individual things and they each owned parts of the world and as they tried to bargain with each other over something, they sort of gave each other these pieces of the world and um, Jude ends up wanting this uh, piece of art that Noah has made and she offers him the sun, the flowers, the trees, like it's just, I ended up finding it really beautiful that, that this is how the, the twins would communicate. Um, and I also really love the cover because it has got a quote on the front which I shall read. So we were all heading for each other on a collision course, no matter what. Maybe some people are just meant to be in the same story. That's sort of the premise, I guess, of it, where it is going from the two different sides and you sort of start to piece together things like characters that they're both talking about but they don't realise each other knows and yeah, it's just a really amazing book. Out of these three, if you're going to take one up, please do take this one up. Um, just do be warned, there is quite a bit of mental health in this um, depression, uh, suicidal thought I guess, there is the loss of a parent in it, um, yeah so do be warned, it is a bit of an up and down book, so is Made You Up, um, but I think they both do mental health 
a lot of justice. So if you're interested in um, books like All the Bright Places or what's another one? Eleanor and Park kind of, I guess, um, then do give this a go. So those were my three books of the month. Thank you for coming to my book corner. Um, I'll be doing this every month. Some months I might only have one book, some months I might have three, four. I'm not sure, but this is going to hopefully push me to read a little bit more and to be able to give you guys a few more book recommendations. If you have any book recommendations for me, please leave them in the comments below. Uh, if you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up so that I know um, it's something that you guys like. It's something that I enjoy, so I'm probably just going to keep doing it anyway, unless I don't have a book to talk about in a month, which hopefully won't happen. Um, and yeah, I will see you next month. <laughs> Bye!